Hi friends. So in this video, we are going to create a very simple JS application. So let's get started. So this is the prompt I created for it. Create a button in HTML. When clicked, generate table of two in real time, row by row. Create related JS as well in separate main.js file. So let's see. All right, so it has created that and uh, let's switch over to our VS code. So I didn't do much here, just this folder and index.html and main.js. So we'll take our HTML code from here and type exclamation point and you'll get this emit abbreviation. So it will give you the boilerplate code to get this page ready. And in body, we're just going to paste that button code. In main.js, we will have this one. So let's quickly check whether we have main.js included or not. So it's not included. I'm simply going to include it. So our file is main.js. Wonderful. So yeah, our port is running. If it's not running, you can just click on this live server. I'm using the extension. So let me check this one. All right. So right now we don't see anything like literally. Let's click on go live. I accidentally turned it off. All right, so generate table of two. And yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Now let's tell it to generate it one by one. All right, so you know JS is perfect for this. I mean, you don't have to refresh a page. And yeah, let's do one more thing so that we can enter the number. All right, so we want to manually input the number and generate the result one by one with slight delay. So let's see. All right, so it has created it. Let's try, this is going to be interesting. So it generated it again from, well, button and all of that code up to table. So we have to be careful here. So from this button, paste that all right and let's copy the JS as well paste it completely right uh, yeah so we have that now let's try clicking here all right so we have this nan available for us good let's refresh that type 5 So yeah, it's working, all right. The only problem is that the multiplier has changed. We actually need to update the multiplier. So we don't need to generate a table of two. We have to like type here and then generate a table of that. So we are telling it that we want to change the multiplier, all right, uh, from two to anything we input in the input field. All right, so it has generated that. Uh, let's copy this HTML code. And again, from the body, from here to table, let's paste this. And uh, copy this JS code completely. Delete all of that. Let's switch over to our page. All right, so that's actually working. That's fine. I mean, this number it is taking as as the table, all right? That's why it said that uh, keep that until ten. So that's actually wonderful. Now we can. Now this is a lot dynamic. So yeah, I mean it's actually appending to the same one. We can have a reset button as well to like make this whole table go away. And let's do that. And yeah, that would be the end of this video. So. So let's see. All right, so it has generated that. Let's copy the HTML. Now the JS. All right, let's check our script. All right, so again, keep it at one. Let's generate the table. 
Well, wonderful. Let's reset it. Great. Uh, this code was like really, really simple. Now we can definitely create this on our own. But for simple things like this, ChatGPT can actually help you create the code while you're working on some other functionality. That's the only thing I wanted to show you. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. And this is going to be an ongoing series with ChatGPT creating codes for us in different languages and helping us become more productive so that we can focus on much higher, much complicated code. See you in the next one. All right. Thanks.